thinking back on my life, I've lived. I would have never imagined living and not living. That concept may seem abstract, but it's very common. For instance, so many people I know have not lived. I used to stay in the park for months, but afterwards was able to own a loft. I once only painted on walls with graffiti, but afterwards, I was able to create sculptures overseas. The closest I was able to ever be away from New York City was the entrance to the Holland Tunnel. But afterwards, I was granted a chance to visit Hong Kong. <laughs> she, she. That's thank you in Chinese. I have lived. Becoming Mouse was unexpected. Being kicked out for wanting to express myself was the worst and best thing that ever happened to me. It's funny how the present and the future can give different outcomes. I hated my father for years, I mean years, until I came to the realization being there was holding me back. If I stayed home, I'd never meet Andy in Union Square. That's a clusterfuck. I wouldn't have lived. I would just be living. Not to stray away from the topic, but it's 1988 and I need to vent. The NBA All-Star Game is in Chicago and I'm out here in Beijing right now as I speak. We aren't getting the games live, so I'm, I'm catching everything late, but there's three things I want to just leave with you guys. One, Larry Bird is probably the baddest white boy i ever seen shoot a jump. Three straight three-point contests, and then he's he, he throwing his finger in the air like, like, like he trying to hail a cab. <laughs> Two, Dominique Wilkins was robbed in that slam dunk contest. He did a two-handed windmill, and his opponent does the same dunk twice and gets a fifth. <laughs> and lastly, Michael Jordan. Dr. J just retired, but man, this dude is unreal. He may be the greatest when it's all said and done. As I clean my Jordan forwards. <laughs> I'm working on this big question mark sculpture in Beijing, and I'm grateful for it. Andy has passed, which has me creating question marks towards heaven, sadly. How could such a nice, giving man be taken away from us? I don't know. At least he lived. I'm excited about meeting with Blake Lerat. Bristol, though. Apparently... He's one of the forefathers of the graffiti genre. I've seen some of his work before I left at a local library. It's, pr it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive, <laughs> if I do say so. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to what I'm saying. Beijing, Bristol, sculptures, Jordan 4s, naked women. I'm living. This morning, I spray painted on a restaurant building. If someone heard about your living, would they care enough to hear about your death? Death wasn't spelled with a TH, by the way. I say all this to say this. Savor every yesterday as a memory. Daydream about tomorrow before you close your eyes. And while you're alive, start living. Because anybody can live. A hospice is filled with people who are living. So, I mean, really live. And I hope whoever hears this is calling a travel agent to fly somewhere. So trust me, it'll be worth it. Mouse.
1985 and I'm running out of faith. Living outside and I'm running out of pain. My wolf man died and I'm running out of tapes. KRS one and a lot of ride base. Telling 5 0 to get out of my face. Met future in the lower east side. We are bombed in a train and I got a lot of hate. Wait, graffiti calling us all. I can teach the art of war. 18 and I seen it all before. Just tell me what you think the chalk is for. Breathe it more and more. That's right, breathing all the raw. Art hanging in the middle of corridors. Did work in a museum in Baltimore. People wanna know what the question mark is for. Mouse, be yourself. When you see yourself, you gotta see your wealth. Batter yourself, then beat yourself. You gotta challenge yourself and defeat yourself. You never seen shit like mine. A mouse with a question mark and bright lines. John Belushi was a funny white guy. I was front row with Saturday Night Live. I worked with Kenny Shove. All that paint left heavy. Marks. Drunk at the club 57 spot I'ma die with a brush, I'ma never stop I had a better plot, all the fellas watch Put a canvas up and made women flock Where I met my girl, she was hella hot But where the love go when rose petals drop I don't know where I'm going But it feel like I'm headed back I don't know if you notice That's not where my head is at Girlfriend just left me Now I'm looking for a better match I'm about to spray over that mural I made for us when we was attached See, love to me is a struggle And I've been through all the pain Live through all the thunder, the puddles and all the rain. I've been heartbroken, heartbroken, broken hearted, broken hearted. Homeless artists, outspoken, and I still never got joy off it. Mouse, mouse, legend in the flesh I pronounce. Ton of women sleeping in the house. This is what I have to announce. Both friends died, one overdosed, the other one slept, never opened up his eyes. Keith had AIDS, now I'm like, why? I might be next, and that's no lie. How the hell do I cope with this? I live the life as a chauvinist. Now I'ma spend my days as a soloist. I don't know if I'ma get over this. I'm a literature vocalist with my signature as the focal pitch. I want my legacy to pass like a dope assist. Right before my life don't exist Sorry y'all, I'm emotional What I'm supposed to do with my human vitals Medicine is just too expensive And late nights I'm suicidal Pill boxing, wrist cutting, roof sitting Good for nothing, bullet buying, gun tucking Suicide note with a question mark on it But I fought back and I lived Cause I thought that I wouldn't live And that taught me to support me through everything that I did one day my story will be told to all of your kids. Mouse. Any horror stories? Yeah, I mean, during the holiday season is primarily the doorman's time to really flourish. However, there are some wealthy people who are just naturally stingy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've gotten as much as a thousand dollars, and, you know, that, that was a great time, but, you know, that one time Vera Wang was mad at me for messing up her dry cleaning, that was, that was pretty bad. She usually lets me keep the change. And one day she gave me a shirt which costed $3.95 to clean. And I lose the shirt. Of course, it was an heirloom given to her by her father, and, and I messed it up. I, I didn't get fired, surprisingly, but, <laughs> you know, she gave me a holiday card with $4.14 in it. Like, the card actually had $4.14. It, there was a weight to the card because there were 14 pennies inside. Not a dime and a nickel, not three nickels, 14 cents. Preposterous. 